What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you from inside of a 320 gallon aquarium that I'm dying to set up. Hope everybody is doing well. Today, I want to get a little soapbox with you. I want to talk today about two of the most important groups of people in this aquarium hobby and something that I am scared to death about with the both of them. You might recall I did a video a while back on the passing of Dr. Herbert Axelrod or Herbert Axelrod as uh, he has been known by some. And whether you love him or hate him, you cannot discount the massive impact that Herbert Axelrod had on this great aquarium hobby and particularly yours truly. You recall it is Dr. Herbert Axelrod who is the founder of the Tropical Fish Hobbyist magazine, one of the hobbyist magazines that got me deep into the hobby. And while magazines have certainly lost their lackluster in today's day and age in the digital world, I do believe we do have to pay some respect to all those people who have come before us and have paved the way in this great hobby. Perhaps it's because I was a history major and love history or the fact that I've been actually to the jungles of Peru and collected fish of my very own with my own two bare hands including a couple of the fish you see in this 220 here both in the hot sun and in the rain that I have a better appreciation for the people that came before us. Let's keep in mind folks those fish you buy in the pet store weren't always available in captivity. At some point somebody went into the wild and grabbed them and shipped them back. Ask me about the time I shipped back six Nanai angels only to have two of them left. Fast forward to 2017, we live in a digital age where half of you are watching this on a handheld device. Dust it in the box and can get any information you want six different ways from Sunday in six seconds. And while this is beautiful, my concern, and I believe the concern of many people in this industry is that because of this, we are losing a significant portion of the younger generation coming into this hobby. Why would you want to take the time and the minimal amount of effort to make something beautiful with your own two hands when you can pull it up on a screen and in five seconds get whatever you want? People are forgetting the quote from the late great Takashi Amano, creating nature is the ultimate luxury. Enter one of my favorite people in the hobby. Meet Kurash. Kurash is me 22 years ago. I first met Kurash at Palooza this past summer with him and his saint of a mother drove all the way from near Dayton, Ohio to come check out what I was doing at the uh, Reef of Palooza. Rewind about last week or so, I see them on Friday at the Aquatic Experience again. And my man Kurash is competing in the kids aquascaping contest. Kurash is everything pure to me in this hobby. He's not in the biz, he doesn't have a YouTube channel with an oh so catchy here to my sleep make me want to shoot myself, what's up fish tank people, no. Kurash is all about one thing. He's not trying to get chicks. He's not trying to drive. He's trying to buy some fish and set up a fish tank. We need more Kurashes in this house. So I want to make a comment on something I did the other day though. Uh, last Friday I did a uh, live stream. I was in a good mood. Uh, some people who are actually able to catch it, it's now been deleted, said it was one of the funniest things they'd ever seen me do. So thank you for that. I'd love to kiss all your little fish tank faces. The premise of it was this, I was sitting right here and I was going through the questions, uh, reading them off, you know, everybody's little name or whatever, and I'm reading them off, and somebody says, is that real? Is that a set? Is, is that fake? And I proceeded to channel my inner Bill Burr and go on a rant how, in fact, everything is fake. This is fake. This plant is fake. This whole basement is fake. Those plants over there are all fake. I'm not even really dusting everything around me is fake. This is just a fake video, it doesn't exist. The video I made about my herons getting disappeared was just a fake video. They're actually out of my garage being stored because I tricked you all. And I went on and on and on in this wonderful rant about how everything is actually fake. It's not fake, it's real. But um, I didn't realize that the Kurashes of the world might actually be watching this and not get the joke. And to be completely honest with you folks, making that video was one of the most cathartic things I've ever done. I actually felt fantastic after letting that video fly because I thought it was funny too. But what your boy D forgot is I forgot that the young Kurashes were watching. Not so much actually my man Kurash, but people like him, young kids like him. Look, I've got two daughters. My goal is to make sure they don't get pregnant or on the stripper pole and I raise them right. I probably wouldn't have done that rant in front of them. So I forgot my obligation and my responsibility to the kids in this hobby. The story doesn't stop here, folks. 
you've got to go up a generation. You've got my generation, you got the Cool Rushes. What about the Ninja Fish Tank legends with 40 to 100 tanks in their basement? What about the guy who opened a retail shop and struggled and rode it out while the big chain stores came in? These, my friends, these guys and gals aren't getting any younger. Have you ever spoken to someone who knew so much they had you on the floor drooling? It happened to me twice at the aquatic experience. Let me give you an example. I don't have to look far for this one. My man, Mr. Gary Don't Carry Lang. Now look, I've got plenty of videos about Gary's stuff, his advice to people getting into the hobby about water change, and obviously he is a world-class premier rainbow fish keeper. You can click the links around and check out some of his fish room. My point of bringing up Gary is this. Gary gets it. Gary doesn't need to let people into his house and basement to check out his fish. Gary doesn't need to go give talks at the aquatic experience. Gary is doing this because he is in a joint cumulative effort to help bring younger people into the hobby. I'm gonna tell you something that makes me kind of nervous. Last April, I was out in St. Louis for the Live Bears convention and me, in my 30s, I was one of the youngest guys there. This scares the heck out of me. Where were all the young kids? So I wanna leave you with this question, folks. I'd love your advice. How can we bridge the gap between the old school wise men ninja senseis of fish keeping and the younger generation? How do we make sure that we have a new fresh crop of young people coming into the hobby and continuing to tank on? Drop me a comment on your thoughts on this, folks. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to do more about it myself. Tank on. Buddy. Like.